<laughs> Doing diplomacy in a tiger's den. Now we're going to go inside for a few minutes. <laughs> Showcasing Indonesian wildlife and culture on Sydney's harbour side. <laughs> As he nears the end of his presidency, Joko Widodo came to Sydney looking for some concrete actions on trade and energy. Indonesia and Australia must build a more substantive and economic cooperative through the joint production of electric vehicle batteries and secondly through trade. But Australia only offered to ease some visa rules for Indonesian citizens, addressing a long-running sore point with Jakarta. Making an enormous difference and removing uh, bureaucratic impediments to our closer relationship. The two countries have agreed to work together on clean energy. Indonesia has ambitions to become a global hub for producing batteries and electric vehicles. For this, it'll need lithium, which Australia has in large supplies. There'll also be a boost to Indonesian language teaching in Australian schools. It's good for this uh, student to learn and like, yeah, to, to practice in the, in, the, in the real life, yeah, especially interacting with others. There might be some common ambitions around trade and energy, but there are still some reservations in Jakarta about the AUKUS Defence Pact. Canberra has tried to ease concerns about this and it also wants to find ways it can work alongside the Indonesian military. Indonesia is a very big neighbour and so uh, it has to be uh, very, very, very prominent in the way we look at the world. Ensuring closer ties between neighbours in the hope of steadying the waters in the Indo-Pacific. Gavin Coote, ABC News, Sydney.